So, um, I had a weird dream last night. <laughs> I was in Vault of Glass. <laughs> uh, it had to do with that. I think we were in the, the Vault of Glass Destiny raid, and, um, we were trying to figure out the puzzle, like, maybe the story of the game. I don't know what was going on. I was just kind of like the, the vague feeling, like that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the story of the game is figuring out why Mad Mardigan from Willow was in the crow's cage. It's been like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, we found out, but in order to get out of the, the like, almost like Assassin's Creed-esque memory location where we were, we had to forget. And then I woke up. Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's amazing. And I, I, I must have been a bit like, you know, as the alarm was waking me up, that all hit. But it was so like stuck in that phase of playing that damn Destiny raid for three days straight. <laughs> and that's all my brain was doing. But then, why the fuck did it bring that other thing in there? Like, why the fuck is Mad Mardigan in there? <laughs> it's like. I don't know if we were reading Grimar cards or whatever, you know, it's like we, we had to figure it out, so it's like I knew we were playing the game because somebody had to, my brain thought of the, we have, we have to look online to read these cards, that's what the story is, and then I like a mental image of him in that, you know, gross cage, and what did he kept yelling at the, at the, I can't hear the word in my head, but he kept calling him like, Peck? Pex. Yeah, he's like, Peck? Peck, 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 Peck. Like, that just popped into my head, and it's like, why is he in that cage? Oh my god, that, you know, it's like, oh, Jesus. Is that from you <laughs> yelling, back, 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 Maybe. <laughs> 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 I've <a> lost <laughs> Oh, that oh was, god. you missed that, Cal. We were, uh, getting the shit destroyed out of us by the, the, the boss, like, in the middle, and, and nobody yeah. was, like, we had, some of us had to be farther away from the boss as part of the fight, it was a special reason why. And nobody kept, like, nobody was leaving when I was telling them to leave. Like, we got two seconds left, literally, go. And then I, at one point, I'm like, back, 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 back. After, like, three hours of, like, straight doing the same thing and yeah. failing. <laughs> yeah. How many hours did we play that one boss? It was, like... Eight. It was, uh, <laughs> more than that. It was, um... We started, we left off on the gatekeepers, which is in the same room. We beat them on Saturday. It's not too much trouble, <coughs> maybe an hour or two. So we were on that, on just the Atheon, trying to get everyone to work together enough to beat him for the rest of Saturday and all day Sunday till like 5 o'clock. Ethan, that's what he's called. I was trying to remember his name. Yeah, it was, it was a good 10 hours, which is insane for that one boss fight. We just couldn't, couldn't cinch it up. Yeah, I don't think I've ever experienced um I mean I know it's fairly common in um like the kind of massively multiplayer online type of games, but um aside from you know, spending cumulatively hundreds of hours in a game, I don't think I've ever done that. So uh, it'd be uh, something to experience. Nice. Definitely. I still had a high today at lunch at work. I finally came down from, from that fucking raid. I was never so proud of a, our little group of friends, and we were all crying like little girls after we beat him. Mm -hmm. It was such a bittersweet thing, though, because, like, only some of us was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, yes, and then instantly I was like, oh, that sucks. And then I felt so bad because Reaper had to leave. And he messaged PJ later on, and he's like, please tell me you beat it. Like, <laughs> I was like, I gotta send that guy some flowers. <laughs> well, it was, not, it was shortly after he left that we found the last person who was just a little higher level. Yeah. Some of us yeah. were 26, some were 27, but the guys at the end fight, like, so a lot of them are 28. Yeah. If you're like one level lower than a monster in the game, you take 30% more damage and maybe 30% less damage he to he was tearing through the ads like nothing. Nothing. He saved yeah. my ass. I don't know how many times. Okay, yeah. So a lot of it was just level based. For our little mm. group, I don't know, really kind of funny stuff. I think she's right, but I don't think Reaper died. No. Much. He died <laughs> less than everybody else did. Mm -hmm. he, he actually, he's, he's careful when he's methodical. He didn't really seem to freak out. Yeah. That hunter inside of him, you know. The rest of us, I remember all of us were like 
Whoops, my bad. That, I fucked that up. I don't remember him doing that <laughs> once. I mean, when I was reading reading all those emails that Wookie was sending out, <laughs> and um, it, it, I I I read every single one because it was just it was just really interesting. Yeah. I I I loved it. It was just um, it, it to some degree I I felt less left out because. <laughs> the, w the way he was describing it, it was like he was kind of like it was like a call to arms to his troops, yep. <laughs> and it was just like, come this way, come this way, and uh, it's just like the battle's this way. But it's just that whole thing of when you were talking about being careful and methodical. My main insecurity about playing games where you know obviously there's a high difficulty level and it's you know that's the kind of the point of it is is the fact of my my own kind of perceived inability to be able to play to that le level but what he was saying made a lot of sense and and that makes me feel a lot better about trying to do it because i'm not good enough to kind of like you know be pulling off headshots while double jumping and all that stuff being careful and having you know scenery between myself and some kind of massive boss um, suits me fine. Made me feel a lot better about you know the prospects of doing it in the future. Because otherwise, yeah, I, I would I would have felt like I was um, just you know, dragging you guys down or something. Yeah, it's definitely you, you find a spot where I you did. Know, you're, you're not you're not like good at that. And then like that one little paragraph with um, that KK guy is like, I'm not good at this. I'm gonna go outside. Let's switch with Reaper. We're still yeah. struggling. Yeah, yeah. And Fizzy and I switched, and immediately that side like. Done. Like we we were moving right along, like no problems yeah. until we all took a little bit of a break and I came back and I couldn't I couldn't. Yeah, do it Wookie anymore. took a shit and the whole thing went down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually take a shit. I just like took a leak and got a soda and we were we weren't back on for ten minutes and then my ninja skills were like couldn't, <laughs> just couldn't quite pull it off anymore. Pissed, ah. pissed away your mojo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have to tell you, Cal, I am not a headshot double jump by any stretch at all and I felt like I contributed you know yeah, yeah it's just a full so. on team effort yep. yeah. you just, yeah, you yeah. just gotta find the right thing which is why I, I didn't mind us going in mostly blind and all that stuff that's why it took us so long but shit we did so much of that shit on our own with like a, a tiny hint from KK and maybe a and the, you know looked up a few things like this is this is how they're saying to do it it's not gonna work but let's try you know part of it that's the thing I love the most. It was like you had that initial email um, talking about, you know, ref um, referring to the video and talking about what they were doing. But then, like, a couple of emails later, it was just like, fuck that. We'll just do it the way we do it and we'll experience it. And it was just like, that was just so awesome. That was just like, it was almost like you had you had an epiphany. It was just like, we shouldn't be trying to emulate what these guys are. We'll, we'll just experience it and we'll work it out ourselves. And it's just like, you know, from, from the, the previous um, conversation you've been having in terms of especially the stat, talking about the stats and um, damage and, uh, and all those percentages, you know, it's just like you're coming from the right place. You know, you know, you can figure it out yourself and it was just it was just that kind of like fuck that we'll do it our way that was amazing i i kind of felt the the kind of tide turn in terms of you know it was just like you know we've got to do it this way and and it just seemed almost like you were referencing whatever you'd been researching but then it was just like you got it and you know kind of did it in the way that you guys did it as opposed to trying to emulate what other people are doing i, I really got that impression of like you know how you you teamed up and you know you worked it out as a team so uh, I, l I look forward to actually being in, in amongst that at some point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, won't take that long. <laughs> no. I was trying to tell my mom about <clears throat> this epic battle and she's like so now that you beat it what do you do? And I'm like well we beat do it again. again. <laughs> she's <laughs> like what? Like we do it all over again. <laughs> she's like, Why? <laughs> Do it until we master amazing. it, and then the next one comes out and we're ready. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to get, like, a cheerleader or <laughs> a sorority girl and do, like, Penny from the Big Bang Theory and just turn her into this, like, crazy-eyed, smelly yeah. pile of, like, addicted death. <laughs> just like... <laughs> That episode, I thought she was like ten times hotter when she was like that. Yeah, yeah. 
Is that I, I, why that's... you like me so much? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. That's, that, that, that is my favorite single episode of the Big Bang Theory ever. But yeah, like, I love Cooper it. and uh, Fizzy had never done anything like that, as far as I know. It was just really neat to watch him just fuck Fizzy's him. <laughs> never played an MMO. And this is this is essentially an MMO, but this yeah. is the closest he's ever come. And the raid situation, those are painful. And you gotta be careful because the tension's so high. There's orders being given and stuff, and like you try to sneak a joke in there to lighten it up, and sometimes it's not a good time. And... <laughs> yeah, and then it completely, it's it's funny as shit. Everyone needs to laugh. Yeah. And then focus is gone, and then somebody <laughs> yeah. jumps off the edge or walks backwards and falls <laughs> off the edge. It's like, oh shit! When we finally beat him, my hands are so fucking <clears throat> tense. Like they're more tense then from than the like 18 hours of doing. Yeah. It. Like well, everybody was was last shaken. Minute. And I remember squeezing my controller, and then my hand, my it felt like my fingers were just like <laughs> unresponsive. <laughs>